Hello, 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 my stars and galaxies. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we are doing a reading for Aries. Aries, it's all about you. It's all about the Aries today. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? Please note that the Tarot Instagram page, Tarot Business phone number, Cash App, PayPal, all in the description box below so you know exactly where to go for everything you're ready for a personal reading, all right? Personal reading prices are in the description box below. Right, and they are very reasonable. So you know, if you want to get a personal reading, you know, at least you won't have to spend uh, an arm and a leg. Okay. Right. So, um, what was that? What else? Was that? Oh yeah, membership. Membership is also available on my channel. So if you're interested in becoming the VIP of my channel, you know, help yourself. Um, and the thing, another thing about the personal readings, right? Um, please, please, please do not, you know, send payment before setting up your appointment okay please don't do that because it what it does what it helps me remember who is who right so don't just randomly send money for the appointment okay like let's talk talk to me first and then we then you know we'll go from there okay all right okay i think i need to adjust my camera you guys will see more of me than you normal but it's okay at least my my face is hot it's hidden so you know it keeps the mystery okay all right. All right. Hey. Hope everyone's having a good morning, noon, and night. Hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully, your situation will get better. Everybody, hopefully, my reading will help your situation get better. Okay? But either way, I do hope it gets better. Okay? Okay, look at this. I'm looking at the window right now. The sun is kind of well. It, it's not like the sun's not out there, out there. Like you ever seen like an early morning and like the sun's not out, but the sky is getting to a lighter shade of blue. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, that's what's happening. The sun's not out, out yet. You know, but it's starting to, you know, show out there. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we got ancient loss. And shift okay let me focus it so you don't see ancient right loss okay and shift okay so with these three cards together I conclude that one of like one well one or some of you whoever's like whoever's watching this video and it resonates with them right but I can conclude right that you have recently lost somebody and they are no longer with us Okay, you recently maybe lost your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, whoever was just near your heart. Okay, all right, you know, because they were before you, right? That's what ancient represents. They were, they were, rep they were, they were on this earth before you. So I'm not gonna say it. Like even if you take your dad or your mom, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't want, I don't want to call them ancient, but you know, that's basically like a representation of it because they were on this earth before you. So anything that's on this earth before you is kind of older anything like that right and then you've got loss right and shift okay so you've lost them okay you've lost them like like not like you've lost the ball or anything like that like you've lost this person and they can't really come back okay they've shifted right they've shifted into another um i don't is it realm another ass like another another they've shifted over the line between life and death okay they should, they've, yes, they've shifted over the line between life and death. So they're no longer in this on in a physical form. Now they're in the spiritual form and now they're, you know, elevated. Okay? Right? So maybe you feel, maybe you feel like really numb inside. Maybe really hurt. Maybe you feel lost because like now, because maybe like for some of you, this person used to be like an advisor or help you with all your situations. You know, just have your back. You know, and now maybe you like, you know, maybe you feel like... There was some things left unsaid, or maybe you feel like it wasn't their time yet, or maybe you feel like, oh, is there any messages that they have for you about beyond the grave? All right? Well, we're gonna go find that out now. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Flip. Flip. Okay, all right, so we got the Queen of Wands in the reverse, 
okay? Now, the Queen of Wands, right? This means that you can't, not, you don't have, no, you don't, you can't rely on them no more. You can't look at it as if, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do without them, blah, 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 blah. Like, you can't have that mindset, okay? You can't have that mindset, all right? Because what the Queen of Wands in the reverse represents is that you don't have a plan. Maybe you feel like, you, you, you know, you feel misguided. Maybe you feel like you don't know what to do on your own, right? Or et cetera, et cetera. But see, Aries, you know exactly what to do on your own, okay? You know exactly what to do on your own, okay? You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to do what you need to do. Maybe you don't, maybe this person used to be the vote that you would let out all your secrets and feelings to, right? But you can still do that, but just with another person. If you don't want to do that with another person, then you just got to make sure that you're still taking care of yourself mentally because you don't want to fall into the line of depression because they're gone, right? And two, and honestly, honestly, personally, I feel like no one's ever really gone. They're just no longer with us physically, okay? Energy is all around us, honestly. Okay. Energy is all around us. No one, I don't, I personally feel like no one's ever gone. I still feel like there's something beyond the grave. So, yeah. It just means because we all have us, because we're souls embodying the flesh. So, yeah, we lose our flesh, but our soul is still alive. Okay. Unless somebody's a soul eater. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, anyway, like I said, right? You just need to make sure, like, like if you need to, you can take time to grieve if you need to, right? But, just keep in mind that you'll still live on okay you'll still live on because that's what you're 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 somebody who they've always believed in who can do this and who can do that you can do that right you just need to get out the mindset that maybe you feel like 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 oh you don't know what to do without them now maybe you feel all lost isolated you know they were your um everything da, 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 da. maybe they were you know as far as emotionally was concerned but you got you can take care you can do it on your own you can you can heal yourself from this experience all right you can still push forward okay so life for you is not ended even if it has for them then you got the chariot in the reverse right Maybe it happened so fast, you know, you know, maybe it happened so fast, their death, maybe it was like so sudden, or maybe it was just like, like, cause it could be one of those scenarios where like this person is older, right? But they've always been healthy and all of a sudden they get a heart attack and they die, you know, maybe it happened so fast or, you know, or maybe like a, something more, um, something more interactive, maybe like a car accident, whatever the case is, anything like that. Okay, it, it just happened so fast, or maybe it was slow, or maybe this person was slowly deteriorating, but you never really figured it would happen so soon. Okay, or maybe you never figured it would happen on that specific day. Maybe you just felt like maybe those just, you know, just stay forever. Who knows? Hell, who knows? Right? But still, you still felt like now that they're gone, it's just like holy shit. It happened so fast in your brain it feels like it happened so fast but maybe this was something that was probably going to happen or you know bound to happen eventually or if it was like a car accident, something like more sudden like a car accident or whatever then it was just their time to go okay even if it was not in the most attractive way it was still their time to go okay then the tower card okay maybe your mentals fall apart maybe you feel like your men your mental is go going down the river okay maybe you feel like your mental health is going down the river because like again you lost someone near to your heart so of course it's going to be hard for you right some people grieve for a couple of days a week two weeks whatever you know what i'm saying and as human beings we're going to grieve when something hurts us when something's sad and we can't get it back all right when something's done and we can't get it back when it's a person near and close to our heart close to our lives yeah it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful, actually. All right? Okay, let's see. Flip. 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 Well, not flip yet. More like... I don't know why I said flip. I didn't even flip it over yet. Okay, now I'm going to flip, 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 flip. Okay. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got conception, thoughts, and words so this is conception and this is thoughts okay and this is words okay now with conception with every death there's always new life coming in right so maybe what do you call it 
maybe say if you're say for example you're a female Aries right if you're a female Aries <clears throat> maybe you'll end up getting pregnant one day you know having a kid of your own you know and you know at least the line continues at least you're like, that's what I'm saying your life isn't over just because you lost this person okay your life continues without them okay but you can still keep them in your heart Okay, so if you're a female Aries, you know, I do see children in your future, or you're already pregnant, or whatever the case is, right? Your ch there are children in your future, like, you know, um, continuation of the cycle, right? Same thing if you're a male Aries, right? You become a father one day, or you already have one on the way, etc., etc. So at least the life, life cycle continues, your life continues, right? It flows. It's still a bloodline. It still flows. They're not gone. That's what I'm saying. They're, no one ever is ever gone right their energy is still with you the energy is still in your bloodline okay so that's why so that's what i'm saying with every death there's always comes new life whether it comes next week next year next month whatever new life always cycles back around okay now with thoughts now with thought with thought with the thoughts one it really interests me interests me because Maybe you got some, you had some things that you maybe wanted to say to them, maybe never got the chance to, you know, and you, you know, you just wanted to say some, a few last words, okay, a few last words, you know, maybe, or maybe you wish you could see them one more time and just uh, hold them again, or maybe, or maybe sometimes you dream them and you guys have a conversation in your dreams, just whatever the case is, okay, you like, you just want one more convert. that's basically what it is, you basically just want one more conversation with them just one more okay it doesn't have to be long right but you still just want to see them one more time okay you still want to see them one more time right and nothing's wrong with that okay you still want to talk to them you still want to um um what do you call it ah uh, shoot brain fart okay yeah you still want to um just say what you need to say get it off your chest right if you haven't already said everything that you wanted to say well maybe now that they're gone maybe you want to still say things maybe right but even if you can't like physically see them to say what you have to say you know you can always visit visit their grave you know and say what you got to say you know shoot i hear that their, their energy is around their grave too wherever the body is wherever right that's why a lot of people cremate their people. Like that's why, that's why a lot of people cre cremate the people that they love because their energy is still within that you know area. So, yeah. Okay. So three of wands in the reverse. Okay. Now with the three of wands in the reverse. Okay. You kind of feel like maybe you have not gotten to say what all the things that you needed to say so therefore it's kind of weighing that maybe that slight guilt is kind of weighing down on you maybe they're like 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 oh like maybe for example you weren't around when they died so you didn't like like while, like while they're in the process of dying so like maybe you got a phone call like hey you know mom died da, 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 da. you didn't really get to say what you wanted to say right or etc etc right or maybe you just feel burdened by their passing okay maybe you feel burdened by your pa their passing and you still want them to be around you feel like you still need them right but you have to remember Aries things are going to die things are going to move on right and what's important is that showing like having keeping them in your heart keeping them in your heart in your mind and your memory that shows that you have nothing but love for them still so at least you're not really losing anybody because you're not you're not disgracing their passing okay you're keeping them in your heart then you got the devil card in the reverse okay the devil card in the reverse you were maybe momentarily really like maybe like mad that this happened right because maybe it's like you have the kind of man, like maybe you're thinking like oh you know this man this like this man in my life this woman in my life they deserve so much and this is their reward right they don't even have to be like, you know they don't have to even be old to die you know you don't even have to be old to die you know just, just whatever is going on in your body etc etc right but you just feel maybe like negative energy made this happen right but you have to remember like i said earlier but you have to remember things pass with time so in a way they're being they're escaping the negative energy okay because it was just their time so they're escaping the negative energy too okay but don't let negative energy consume you because maybe negative energy is making you have um you know maybe like anger thoughts about how this like why this happened about how you lost someone close to you now right and then you got the five of swords okay the five of swords okay maybe for some of you that you maybe maybe the last time you talked to this person you guys had an argument maybe you guys had um 
you know, a verbal disagreement, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe that was the end of your last conversation, right? Little did you know, right? That's for some of you. Maybe you guys ended on good terms, but you know, some you got some people who yell at each other and then oop, something happens, right? So for some of you, maybe you had an argument with them, you guys, you know, you just kind of bit each other's nose at first, you know, and then that was it, right? And then you get a phone call or you find out or however it happens, right? So that's probably why there's so much thoughts going in your head. That's probably why so much um, things are going in your mind because you feel like you could have fixed it. You feel like you could have talked more and just really, con like, just really conversed more, okay? But you know what? You know what? However it happened, whatever was said, whatever was the last thing you said or what the last thing you see saying to each other, right? You can always honor their memory by keeping them in your heart, keeping, in your, keeping them in your soul, keeping them in your mind. That is how they live forever, okay? Always remembering them, always loving them, even after death, okay? So maybe it was your time, okay? It was just your time to go, right? But you, Aries, will continue to live on and have a life, okay? So Aries, I hope this did resonate with you. Hope this helped in any way. But if it did not resonate with you, I really do apologize. Hopefully the next Aries reading will. But in the meantime, though, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste.